I feel like my husband is only interested in our relationship because of the sex. In the past, your videos have mentioned that sex is supposed to be bonding for a couple, but I don't think that is the case for us. The comment, comments like that always break my heart because um, I do I do hear that sometimes with the people that I work with of feeling like, while well, my spouse only wants me for my body, they don't actually care about who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I want that person to know like they're not alone. You know, that's a, a really common thing that I hear. Um, and I also kind of want to speak to some pieces of that, that it's, it's normal for that to be an experience because of how God wired our bodies. Um, like for, for women, women like to feel bonded and connected emotionally. I think, right. That's kind of painting with a broad brush, right. That women like that emotional connection, they like talking, like chatting, but men are only in it for the sexual relationship. And they like that piece, but there's this really interesting biological thing inside of our bodies that happens that I think is fascinating and kind of contributes to this. Um, but when we feel bonded and close to someone, a hormone is released in our brain called oxytocin. And that is the hormone that makes us feel close and connected to someone, okay? And so for women, oxytocin just floods the brain in those emotional conversations, in those places where they're chatting, they feel connected, they feel close, because there's oxytocin happening in their brains. And then after that, it feels a lot safer and a lot easier to enter into sexual contact because you feel close and bonded with someone. Mm -hmm. okay. For men, it's a little bit different. Men get a flood of oxytocin in their brains after orgasm. So men feel really bonded and really close and really connected after intercourse because they had that flood of oxytocin. And so it's after that, that they're like, okay, now we can have a conversation. How are you feeling? <laughs> Sometimes depending on the man, right? Yeah. And so it's kind of this like, kind of tricky, <laughs> sometimes can feel like a mean trick. Like, Lord, why did you wire us mm. this way? Right. And something that I think I like to think of, this just kind of an Allison's personal opinion about this. Um, but it, it's almost like the Lord in his wisdom kind of put these different mantles on a husband and a wife in a marriage where the husband gets to say, hey, wife, come over here. The sexual relationship is so beautiful and connecting. Mm -hmm. And the wife is saying, hey, husband, come over here. This emotional bonding feels so good and so close. And I love connecting with you in this way. Right. You're, you're kind of gently bringing each other into center because you both like a husband needs an emotional connection and a wife needs a physical connection. Right. And you both need both pieces of that. And you get to kind of just gently bring each other into those spaces. Um, in terms of kind of going back to this comment of only feeling like your husband is interested in me because of sex, I would just be really curious about like maybe that's his one way that he knows to get close to you and doesn't know any other way, right? And he feels close to you in that space. And then the other question I would have is like, how is the emotional connection? How is that for you? What's that like? Um, and maybe encourage you to like get help, whether that's for you as an individual or for you guys as a couple, um, because I believe like those those mixed signals because of kind of what's happening biologically that oxytocin that we misinterpret mm -hmm. uh, a husband's desire for sexuality as using us when maybe it's just the only way that they know how to connect I don't know obviously there's a lot of unknowns in that like I'm I'm guessing and making assumptions here um but something to just be curious about and maybe even something to express to your husband and bring that to him of like I want, I want to feel closer to you emotionally. And we start to ask to bring him into that with you, you know, because I don't, I don't want that for you, for your relationship long-term. That's not, that's not going to be sustainable in your heart. Yeah. Well, it makes sense. And I appreciate um, just how you're talking about, like, it's just like it, it is in, yeah, like you talk, it's people frustrating from God. Um, you know, I've even thought about that. Like, I feel like it's like super easy for like men to orgasm and have that connection than it is for women. Like, why aren't women wired that way to like, you know, just be able to get it done. Right. Um, but 
it is like kind of taking a step back and like, okay, like, but like God does things with or for a reason or like mm-hmm. with intention, I guess maybe is a better way to say it. And mm-hmm. um, I love that. Yeah. I kind of like that, the idea of like a mantle, like, okay, the husband, like this is his role and it can be a beautiful role to remind the wife, like let's connect physically. And for the Mm -hmm. wife, like that's a beautiful role to remind the husband to connect emotionally. And um, I just really love yeah how you like phrase that. So it's like, neither one is like better or worse or like Mm -hmm. deeper or shallower. It's just different and it's connecting in a different way and kind of feeding the oxytocin in a different way and kind of meeting, like you said, like meeting in the middle so that Mm -hmm. everyone gets a flood of oxytocin. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. And I, yeah, I think, I think as well, just really remembering that God's heart and God's intention for a sexual relationship between a husband and a wife, a wife is like unity and oneness Mm -hmm. and mutuality, uh, that both spouses are bringing their whole selves into this incredibly vulnerable space, right? that it's not just your body is present, but your brain is somewhere else, right? Like you're bringing your whole self into that space and that can be really vulnerable and that can be really scary. Um, but that like, it, it, it can be connecting and it can be really powerful. And I believe that that's God's heart. It's an expression of unity that is unique to us in life.